You want to know six unspoken rules of a narcissist. By the end of this video, you're going to have what the six unspoken rules are of a narcissist so that you will know what they are and be in on the secret so that you'll be ready for them and be able to pounce on them if need be. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung, and I'm a narcissist negotiation expert. I'm also an attorney, and I help you turn the tables, shift the dynamic against narcissists so that you can become the more powerful one, so that you can escape these relationships or manage them, deal with them, and become fearless against them. I've helped millions of people through this channel and I want to help you do the same thing. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, and that way you'll get notified when I upload brand new videos, which I do every single day because it is my mission on this planet to help you because I've had to deal with narcissists myself. In my law practice, I've represented narcissists. I've also been on the other side of them. I've also had to deal with them in my personal life. And I've figured out the secret. I figured out the secret on how to help you escape them. You know, I've figured out a, a framework and a process either through understanding the psyche of them and also through dealing with them in a negotiation setting. And that's what I share with you right here on this channel and in these videos. So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do that now. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have six unspoken rules of a narcissist. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you, you watch all the way to the end because I'm saving the best one for last. All right, so number one is I don't have to listen to you and I don't have to respect you but you have to listen to me and you have to respect me. And that's how it goes. It's, this is a one-way street here. I, I set all the rules, right? You have to listen to me. You have to respect me, but you know, it doesn't have to go the other way around. And I'll tell you that I'm listening to you. And I will tell you that I'm respecting you. And I will tell you that I'm not going to interrupt you, but you know, as soon as you start speaking, I will interrupt you. And then when, you know, you say, Hey, you interrupted me. They'll say, yeah, but I had to, because what you're saying is just ridiculous. Or, you know, I, I can't listen to this anymore. Or, you know, this is just crazy what you're saying or what, you know, they'll have some reason why they had to just come in and interrupt you. It just, you know, had to be done. I don't have to listen to you or respect you, but you have to listen to me and respect me. That's how it goes. All right. So that's one of the unspoken rules of a narcissist. Number two is I don't have to do anything for you, but you have to do everything for me. I'll say that I'm going to do things for you, but you know, I really don't want to have to it's definitely an obligation. I will do the bare minimum. I'm going to try to make it look like I'm doing everything for you, but you know, it's, it's definitely going to be every single thing from every piece of my body to have to do something for you. And, you know, you, you're definitely gonna have to pay for it. And it's going to be a huge deal and I'm going to make you work for it. And by the time I finally do it, you're going to know that it was a big favor. But then when I finally do something for you, then I'm going to make it like I did that for you and I did it willingly and I loved to do it. And look at that thing that I did for you. And I'm going to lord it over you for the rest of your life. But you have to do everything for me. And if, if you bring it up, then, you know, why are you berating me? Why are you bringing, bringing that up? And that was just expected. That was just the bare minimum that you were supposed to do. That's just 
what you're just, you need to do that just to like remain in my space. That's just payment for being in my space. So that's how that goes. So that's number two, unspoken, unspoken rule of a narcissist. Number three is be unblindingly loyal to me, even if I'm horrible to you. No matter how I treat you, you have to be loyal to me, period. And, you know, no matter what, I expect you to be with me, love me, and love everybody that I love and, you know, whoever it is that I want to be with. Also root for whatever teams I root for, whatever it is. You have to be unblindingly loyal to me, even if I am horrible to you. And by the way, if this is all like, making you crazy and you're trying to figure out how to keep your cool against narcissists. I have a whole video on how to keep your cool against narcissists. Definitely check that out. This is a good time to think about that. And this leads up to number four, which is you have to hate everybody that I hate. You know, you definitely cannot even think about liking anybody that I like, you know, or even show one shred of anything to anybody that I hate, because, you know, that goes to that unblindingly loyal thing. I mean, narcissists definitely see things in black and white. And, you know, you are either for me or against me. And if you are you know, not 100% for me, then you are definitely against me. It is very, very black and white. And they've got that narcissistic injury thing going on. And when that narcissistic rage comes flying out, it comes flying out. They're very, very, very easily slighted. And so, you know, it has to be you're either for me or against me. And if you guys have seen any of this so far, give me an amen in the comments. Just give me an amen in the comments right now. So, and then number five is you have to deal with all of my moods, no matter what they are, no matter how bad, no matter what it is, you know, and you're not allowed to guilt trip me and you're not allowed to remind me and you're not allowed to, you know, bring it up, you know, because if you do, then, you know, you're berating me, you're making me feel bad you know, all of that stuff. And you're not allowed to remind me of anything that you've ever done for me in the past. I don't want to hear about any of that or, or how bad I've ever treated you in the past. I don't want to hear about any of that either. You know, you're supposed to just deal with any of that. So that's number five, unspoken rule of a narcissist. You're supposed to just deal with it. All right. When you're going to negotiate with them, all of this is in play. This is all part of the conditioning. This is all part of the destabilization. And they expect that, you know, this is who you're going to remain. And this is who you still are, by the way. And this is why they think that they're not, you're never going to leave them. And I do have a whole video on why a narcissist thinks you'll never leave. And you, you should definitely check that out as well. And number six, this is the last unspoken rule of a narcissist. And this is, you're going to adulate me at all times, you know? So with all of this, you're going to adulate me at all times, shower me with affection constantly, but don't expect it in return. Mm -mm. You know, I will love bomb you if I need to, you know, if I need to future fake you or love bomb you, if I need to just enough to keep those strings rolling, I will do that, but only when I need to. So I will sometimes do that if necessary, but you are to adulate me and, and shower me with affection at all times. So those are the six unspoken rules of a narcissist. If you've seen any of these, give me an amen in the comments, or if you've seen others, Go ahead and put those in the comments as well. And if you are dealing with a narcissist, make sure you have subscribed to this channel, hit that notification bell, grab my free crush my negotiation prep worksheet at winmynegotiation.com. And also make sure that you join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung, because you definitely need to have your own support community. 
We have so many people in there supporting each other and you want to make sure that you have that too. Today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. They only win if you give in. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I will definitely see you in the next video.